Hope I get away with it. Oh, do do do. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do something sketchy. Well, maybe. Welcome back to the channel. I am T. I am your host. I've got a hodgepodge mess of stuff pulling out of the uh, dark depths of the Good Times Garage because I'm going to do something. I don't know if it's sketchy. I mean, okay, maybe, maybe a little bit. At the moment, I'm gonna kinda let you guess what those sketchy things might be. I will let you in on a little hint. This is the 440 I've been cleaning up. The Moho Motivator. What are we up to? Well, stick around and find out. Is this the sketchy thing I'm about to do? Non-impact sockets on an impact gun? No, no! It's kind of sketch, but I'm going to do it. That's not supposed to be there. A little bit of sludge.
I always know when it's time to get a haircut. Yeah, bang. So if you haven't figured out by now what we're up to, well, I'm all spell it out. We have here on the ground the 440 known as the Moho Motivator. And you may have seen us tinkering around here a little bit with it. I pulled the valve covers off of it, wanted to take a peek at the rocker arms, push rods and all that. And I did swap off the Smogger four barrel intake. Hey, maybe we'll get a show too. There you go. In case you're curious, it's Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Although it'll be after the fact when you see this. But we pulled that Smogger intake off in favor of this 68 version. Slap some, uh, I did have to change the distributor as well. It was an electronic distributor. I didn't have any way, you know, I didn't have a module or anything to try and fire it up with that in play. So I put a points distributor back in it. Hopefully we're close on the timing. Slapped a, a coil and the set of plug wires that was actually on this 440 when it was in the motorhome. And I have this Ancient Carter AFB Competition Series Carb. Yeah, we might, <laughs> keep, might keep panning to the sky. We're gonna try and compete with some noise. That's what we aim to do. I'm gonna fire this, this old girl up. We're gonna see if she'll run. Because this Moho Motivator Motorhome 440 is gonna spend some time in this 1968 Dodge Charger if it runs and runs halfway decent. So I use this old set of fender well exit headers. It'd probably be a little more convenient if I had an in chassis style. It wouldn't take up so much room in the garage. This is a little sketch as far as the setup goes. I've got it on a couple of dollies, but really this whole unit is mostly balanced on the oil pan. But it seems to be all right. Got my remote starter switch hooked up. I'm gonna be running a hot wire to the coil from said battery. And I'm going to fill the bowls with a little gasoline. See if we can't find ignition. It has been a long time since this carb has been ran too. I'm a little worried about that. Looking at my battery ground. Let's just start her crank at least before we go any further. We have crankage. That's a good sign. Let's hook up old Sparky. Make sure we've got a little bit of room to adjust timing should we need it. I'm sure we will. We got fuel in the bowls. I'm nervous. Done this before with a 400 that I have with less than stellar results. I could use a third hand here. Well, that's promising. Not too much, actually. It's a mover and a shaker that moved my bracing. Oh. oh! Don't touch a hot collector. It knocked itself off of the uh, bracing. I had some bricks under the collectors of the header. It's trying to slide off of the, uh, the dolly on the transmission. It runs.
She's a liar. Hopefully that sounded all right from back here. Yeah, she wanted to idle. But there is no coolant in it right now, so we're definitely not gonna tempt the fates and run that any longer. The old carburetor seems to be doing the job too. I think we have a winner. Next step, get all this separated and get ready to put it in the charger. Not really sure what that popping was, but it was probably ignition related or electrical. But I feel like we've got something we can work with here. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully it had oil pressure. Honestly, didn't check that. I can pop a valve cover off and see if we've got fresh oil up to the top. Then on a positive note, the engine run stand. <laughs> the engine run stand needs to be upgraded, let's be honest. But it did the job, the Moho motivator runs, it lives. And I've had a minute to collect my thoughts. This is awesome. It's a runner, it sounds pretty good. Other than that popping, could be a number of things. But when it did pop off the first time and I had it running for a second, I, I stood up to look at everything. Got so excited that even with gloves on, that I came over to look and used the header as support. And of course that's several, several degrees. <laughs> Not so bad. Just a little bit of a, a blister there. But we're gonna be all right, we're gonna survive. So the Moho Motivator is a runner. Once it's on the stand, we can swap the pan out, pick up, you know, miscellaneous, whatever else we need to do to get this into the charger. And then we'll get down to business on this. We'll get this thing cracked open and find out just what the heck went wrong. Probably gonna steal the pan and pick up off of it for the Moho Motivator for the time being. Lots to look forward to for me, hopefully lots to look forward to for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. And if you don't mind, please hit that like button. Especially if you like my engine run stand. I know I do. I already know it. I'll save you the trouble. This is sketchy. But we just needed to know that it would start and that it would run. And the thing tried to idle. That carb has not been ran in years. I appreciate you watching. I hope you keep watching. We'll try and bring lots of cool, entertaining things to you and make some progress on all the randomness that is T's Good Times Garage. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.